something that will really grab their attention. Really let people know that your pizza is the best. You need something bright, like neon. We'll put something together today, and you can pick it up tomorrow morning. Ciao! Who is that, Reem? You know Romeo's Pizza in the Mini Mall? I love their anchovy slice. They want us to make a sign for the new store. We're gonna do big pizza pie with glowing red sauce. Very original. Robo, according to my research, neon is a gas that glows bright red when charged with an electric current. After we make the mold for the pizza, we can pour in neon gas. This is a large glass circular tube with electrodes I have been saving for an occasion like this. That is perfect. This button will suck out all the air. Now press that button to fill it with neon gas and turn on the current. That's some moldy sauce. Neon is supposed to produce red. Let's take a look. It looks like xenon gas produces blue when charged with electricity. Xenon? That sounds like a planet from a science fiction movie. Ha! Huh. Nope. It's an element on the periodic table that has 54 protons. Each atom is made of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Protons and neutrons are at the center of the atom, and electrons orbit around that center. Xenon has 54 protons. Xenon is element 54, which means that each element could be numbered based on the number of their protons. Could be. Okay, hit the other button. I know that one of these is connected to the neon gas. Maybe the sauce made from a rare purple tomato. It looks like argon gas produces a purple color when charged. We must have used argon. Does argon have 18 protons? How did you know that? Argon is element 18, so I concluded if xenon is element 54, it has 54 protons, then if argon is element 18, it must have 18 protons. You're pretty smart for a robot. I will take that as a compliment. What if we try pure oxygen in the tube? We need this done by tomorrow, so whatever works. It looks like oxygen doesn't even light up. Do you notice a pattern? Yeah. The number of protons increase from left to right in the table. You're right. I didn't realize that. But look, I was talking about another pattern. Which one? It looks like the gases in this last column glow. And since neon is in the last column, neon should also glow when charged with electricity. Yes. Now we just need to find the button attached to the neon gas to get this pizza glowing red. That may be the answer. Pizza party! Great, they want us to include some extra metal wire in the package. Can you grab some? Wait a minute. Copper and silver and gold. All of these are in the same column. I wonder if they have similar properties as well. Take a look at copper. CU-29 protons. We use copper for copper wire, right? Yep. It conducts electricity like a pro. Check it out. And coins made of copper are shiny, like this old half gersh. So I wonder if elements in the same column have similar properties. Like silver? Yes. Silver is shiny too, just like copper. And silver conducts electricity, since it's metal. Yes. They're both metals. So what about testing something in a different column? Like column 16. How about sulfur? Do they make sulfur wire? Nope, but we have some solid sulfur here. It smells awful. And it's not shiny like copper or silver. And it doesn't conduct electricity, so you're right. It looks like only elements in this column conduct electricity. Not necessarily, Robo. I recognize aluminum from aluminum foil. That seems like a metal, because I think it conducts electricity. Okay. Elements in the same column behave similarly. But even if elements are in different columns, doesn't mean they can't have some similar properties. So we should include sulfur wire in the package? I've never heard of sulfur wire. That's because it doesn't conduct electricity. Excellent point, Reem. So we'll stick to copper wire. I'll give them an extra battery, too.